So what should uh, um, audiences expect from you on for the evening conversation? I think, I hope they'll, ex you know, enjoy a sort of heartwarming and personal journey, uh, which is, um, you know, playful and entertaining, but also stirring. Um, you know, I hope they will laugh and maybe on the edge of tears or they will cry on the edge of laughter you know that's the kind of work i like uh, mainly just sort of be present in the room with me um which which is you know always lovely and very special how often do we celebrate you know being yeah. in conversation with our children who challenge us but yeah. we, we also illuminate them you know they mm. may not know what you went through as a child you know so i think it's all of that. And also there's a section, you know, it's very kind of celebrating the extraordinary in the everyday. Okay. But also like my relationship mm -hmm. with India, for instance, having dual heritage sons, you know, mm -hmm. who now obviously India and Pakistan, I mean, my children have been there on a school trip and their visas were, you know, questioned because their dad was born in Pakistan. So it's all that kind of our cultural joint mm. cultural relationships you know yeah so you've performed for many people i'm sure you've been including your colleagues and friends how did they re respond to you yes i mean this show has been gently growing and has reached so many audiences and i was really delighted with the response at the opening night at soho uh when so many colleagues from the industry like gurin the chadda naila levy kuvinda gir you know, they all came and they said such generous words, which um, which we captured on, you know, Vox Pop. So it's it's always lovely when people talk about your work and it and it's really resonated with them. So yes, it was really special for me to play Riz Ahmed's mum in Mughal Mowgli and also the short film that won the Oscar, The Long Goodbye. And even more delightful that he came to see Evening Conversations with his mother. Um, and he's been really generous about it, saying it's, you know, full of truth and beauty. But mostly, you know, he was his mother was poking him during the show, saying, you see, you know, so he's accusing me of giving her a lot of ammunition. And also at Edinburgh Fringe, Lenny Henry came, you know, and uh, and he he said it was incisive, charming and funny. So... That, that's been really lovely that, you know, they got to see it as well. So let's remind people when you're coming. Yes, well, Evening Conversations is going to be on the 28th of September at MAC at 7.45. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you Yali. Thank you, Sudha. You will recall that November night in 2018, you know, women I... did say, oh, we went home and we carried on talking, you know. Totally. Uh, yeah. So I think that's what I, what I've what I've also noticed is that it sort of sparks mm. people's own memories, their own conversations, which is mm. delightful, you know. Mm.